Hello and welcome back to another exciting episode of the Community Corner Podcast. I'm Arnov. And I'm Nikhil. And today we're going to be venturing into an exciting topic, the Internet of Things and Smart Cities. The concept of IoT, or Internet of Things, we'll be referring to them as IoTs throughout the episode, um, and Smart Cities is reshaping how we interact with our environment. And I think it's just a fascinating blend of technology, urban planning, and innovation. For sure. It's all about creating more efficient, sustainable, and livable urban spaces using advanced technology. Yeah, so for obviously for some of those listeners out there who might not be familiar with the topic, could you please explain what IoT is and like what smart cities are, basically? Yeah, for sure. So IoT is basically something that refers to the network of physical objects embedded with sensors, software, or other technologies that connect and exchange data with other devices and systems. So smart cities, as we like to call them, which are basically just cities that have IoT integrated, um, use these things to enhance performance and well-being. So it reduces costs and resource consumption to engage more effectively with its citizens. Yeah, and I think a very like a prominent example of how IoTs are used in everyday life is like our simple thermostat, right? Mm-hmm. So like there's these smart thermostats that are like, you know, now getting more popular in homes that you can learn your schedule, adjust temperature for comfort, energy efficiency, like track from your phone. Right. Or even like wearable fitness trackers, like, you know, like um, Fitbits or like Apple, Apple Watches. Watches yeah. That like literally they monitor health and activity levels. So it's just like things like that that definitely enhance your day-to-day life through technology. Right. So even, yeah, there's definitely like a very big personal effect, you know, you know, from day-to-day, like you said, with the Apple Watches and things like that. But even on a much larger scale, IoT can greatly affect cities and urban areas in general with, you know, millions and millions of or even tens of millions um, of people being there, right? I think in urban contexts, IoT can mean smarter traffic management, you know, more efficient waste collection, enhanced public safety, and more responsive city services, right? All making cities more livable and sustainable. Yeah, I think we should kind of move on to like the benefits and challenges, right? mm-hmm. like the voting scale. So what are some of the benefits of um, smart cities? So personally, from my standpoint, I feel like there's several, several benefits. I think it's really immense, right? Mm -hmm. I mentioned, you know, there's reduced energy usage compared to, you know, more traditional technologies being used. Um, There's improved public services, because like I said, these are things that affect millions and millions of people at the same time. And there's better quality of life for residents. You know, we mentioned the Apple Watch stuff even. Yeah, I I agree, right? But there's also the challenges where you need a significant investment for an entire city to be integrated with sure. advanced technology as well as like privacy and data con- concerns because like as t- as we like integrate more technology in our lives it's much easier to like hack and like with one simple click right. your entire life could be over right so it's just like that's very important to keep in mind as well as ensuring equitable access to, the t- to these technologies because mm-hmm. the digital divide is very prominent and it can only widen like the gap between the two different you know sectors you know, for sure. I mean, like, I think traditionally with a lot of new things that are brought up, like, for example, when, you know, credit cards are brought up for, you know, in the very first instance of it um, decades ago or any new form of technology or software, whatever it is, um, there's always kind of been this this kind of divide between, you know, people from low income backgrounds or people from, you know, marginalized communities, things like that. And so it is very important to ensure that people are having that proper equitable access to make sure everyone has a fair chance to basically use these resources. So. Do you want to share an example of a smart city initiative, Arnold? Yeah, so one very prominent one that we have in our world right now is Singapore. Um, and they've impl- Im- implemented an extensive network of sensors and cameras to monitor everything from like cleans- cleanliness to traffic, mm-hmm. making the city more efficient and responsive to residents' needs. This only improves the like, overall quality of living, um, the life expectancy of the people there, and just all these different factors that like factor into how well a city is doing from an economic and social standpoint. Mm, true. Also in Singapore and even other you know, uh, states, countries, cities alike, the citizens play a crucial role in sustaining this urban living kind of thing. You know, I think their participation through feedback, especially, and usage of these smart technologies is crucial, right? Because these are such new technologies, we need to, you know, have some data on it to look at it, to analyze, to see what went wrong, you know, what didn't go wrong. Because, you know, you know, a couple decades ago when we didn't have access to these technologies, we would have not known anything about it. And so it's really important now that once we're getting that feedback that a lot of these higher ups in the cities or states are taking this data in and improving these technologies consistently. And I think with this, it kind of creates this collaborative environment where technology and community um, and a sense of belonging of people come together. 
So I think we kind of noted on like what IoT and smart cities are and how they're affecting our landscape right now. But what about the future of them? Like, what are the implications of that? Yeah, for sure. I think, you know, the possibilities are kind of on a wide spectrum, right? You know, with advancements in AI and machine learning, for example, cities could become more autonomous and more efficient, right? I think we're looking at a future where cities not only react to problems, but anticipate them now. But at the same time, I think it's also important to understand, like I said, it's a wide spectrum, you know, you know, there's a super bad end, but there's also super good. And, you know, on the super good end is like the stuff I said, where everything becomes more autonomous, more efficient, everything works far away, you know, things are more, you know, easy and more convenient for us humans, right. But on the other end, right, you know, with AI, there's also that risk that, you know, we've seen like lots of movies out there, things like that, where, you know, AI takes over and things like that. And so I think it's just a matter of, of ethics and kind of making sure that people who are working with this technologies are consistently monitoring these technologies and making sure that bad side doesn't come into play. Yeah, and like even emerging technologies could definitely further enhance smart cities to like what we know today. Mm -hmm. Like it's definitely like a straight out of a patron sci like science fiction in my opinion. Yeah. Like like recently we've had technologies like 5G which offers faster and more reliable internet connectivity and like blockchain and cryptocurrency which could offer secure and transparent ways to manage city data, which is just the beginning, right? It definitely like increases the um, security concern of, of the data but also um, enhances our roof for what we can achieve with IOTs and smart cities. For sure. And I think with that kind of the final note, I'd like to leave you guys as our listeners here today is just to embrace the change. I mentioned that wide spectrum and I want you guys to embrace that change, follow up with that change and just make sure that you're you're kind of monitoring that because these are things that are going to affect your life, especially if you guys are young, you know, like me and Arnav are here, you know, 16 years old, each of us. So this is something that's going to affect you, you know, in your lifetime, most likely. And so the era of smart cities and IoT is just kind of beginning. And it's, it's, I think it's an exciting time to be a part of this te technological revolution. Exactly. And it's all about embracing the change. Um, and I think on that note, thank you guys so much for um, this episode today. We appreciate you guys listening to us. Thank you so much for the deep dive into such a forward looking topic. And so I think on that note, until next time, stay curious and stay connected. Peace. Peace.